it's Pam from Shepherd's Talk. Um, as promised, uh, we are going to introduce today the first of our, you know, fun and funky plying videos, spinning videos, and uh, just to give you an idea on how we do things. I know we've been asked about a lot about our plying videos and about lock spinning and do we ply and do we not ply, and uh, Virginia will, Virginia will do that one because she's the expert lock person um, you know how we love our locks and uh, so today I'm just starting with um, a thick and thin we do have a bulky uh, video up already and um, so basically after that video would come this next step if you're gonna apply so um, I spun a single here I just wanted to show you how to get it back on um, I can't see my I have to bring it up here oh my husband made me this isn't it great I needed to fit all my larger bobbins it fits this whoops and the next size up bobbins um, as well so this lazy Kate is great so anyway okay so basically <clears throat> what I did was I just I have my loop on my yarn on this side, I have my yarn, my uh, single spun yarn coming through, and on this side, I have a silk thread. I like to use silk. I just like to use the silk with the wool. You can use cotton, and I do use cotton too, but for this, I'm using the silk because it has that little bit of sheen, and um, I like that look added to it. So I'm going to start my ply, and I just ply regular the first few inches. You know, just a regular ply. Go a little slow. All right, so now to go into some, you know, funky looks, some coils, some bobbles, some bumps, whatever uh, you're calling them. Um, so I'm gonna hold it at a 90 degree angle and I'm gonna let this just wrap around my thread. Um, you could see that it already gave a different look. It gave a nice coiled look opposed to just applied look, which doesn't give as much um, texture. But what I like to do is go back and forth. So I go from apply to the bobbly coil. Sometimes I let um, a lot go on and I'll push it up and there you go. Look it, there you got a nice little bobble there. So let's just continue to go. And you see when I come to a slub is where I can do some fun things. And um, let me mention, we're coming to a slub, so I'm gonna let that coil on, and then I'm gonna push it up. Then when I let this continue to wrap around my pl uh, plying silk here, I'm going to, what I call like choke it, I'm gonna give it a good tight spin there, and then let it, go because what that does is it locks the bobble and the bobble only moves a little bit in between so that's how you lock your bobble in from moving but I will say too if your bobbles you know your your silk is a little slipperier if you're using cotton the little bobble will um, uh, grab a little more to the cotton so here we go, a nice one. So I'm going to let that go on and push that up. So this one, I guess we're going to do with a lot of bobbles, but I'll change it up in a minute. So and then I kind of tighten. I'm putting a little tension right here afterwards. So back to what I was saying about that. If your bobbles, if you find your bobbles are, are, are sliding when you skein it onto the skein winder, don't worry about it because you're going to get bobbles they're going to bunch up somewhere else. But if you're using silk, you do have that risk of letting them, of them, um, you know, moving about. But we try not to have that risk by giving that little choke here. See, I can't even push that one up too much because I did give that choke. So I'm going to change back to a regular ply and I'm going to go to a bobble. Um, you know, I'm just going to do a little, I'm going to let it be like this. I call this the rickrack look. Remember the little rickracks that you'd see on your 
grandma's apron well that's I'm not gonna push that up and make it a tight bobble I'm gonna leave that as is so what I do is you know I just go back and forth I ply regular I do a bobble I'll just do the rickrack look I'll ply regular even on a even on a puff like here's some puffs we'll just ply it regularly just to add a whole bunch of different interest and make this yarn look you know a lot like a lot of fun um you know shepherd's talk we, we just love texture um so we we add a lot of texture to our yarn and you know the fun thing about texture is you can you can do a plain old garter stitch or stockinette and with the texture in it it looks like you did um you know some patterning texture adds so much to your piece so you don't have to be like you know if you're a spinner and you're not a huge knitter add some texture to your yarn use lock yarn mix it all up a little bit and um, you're gonna find that uh, those just doing that is gonna add a lot to your see that now we'll push that make a nice big bobble that's gonna add a lot to your yarn so just continue here play with it leave that you know play just uh now when i get to these big this is a smaller puff you really have a lot of control over what you're doing the left hand with the silk i'm holding taunt okay you could see it's tight and i'm letting this wrap around it see i'm feeding it and letting it wrap around it and let's see we're gonna come to a bobble so I kind of let it go around and then place push it up let it wrap around and push it up or not again we don't have to push it up and make a bobble but um it's fun so back to regular plying in between and again this is a thick and thin another way to add texture to your yarn just a plain old thick and thin and then use different plying techniques on the same uh, yarn and you're really going to add a lot to your knitted piece so it's a fun way to jazz things up and you know when you're spinning your um, single you can you can change colors add color change colors and do your colors thick so you have big thick bobbles you know don't don't uh, don't just limit yourself to um, you know doing a solid color add some color in if you like and and do thick but see this is coming out this is gonna be all kinds of texture going on here um, all different all kinds of texture when I get done can't really see it I guess right now but um, yeah it's it's gonna add a lot of fun so again my left hand using silk or use cotton or use wool of a finer um you know yarn or thread and let it wrap around uh have hold it out a good 90 degree angles now you can change that look by just holding it out on different angles all different angles this one you know really wraps it around see that that's going like this like a coil so really holding it out <clears throat> to even a little better than a 90 degree let's do a slub at a 90 degree oh we could do this look at this we could go back and forth back and forth and build a really big cocoon now you could continue to go back and forth when you see the yarns with those big cocoons um this is a way to do it and that's pretty much locked in there get that through there do another one we'll let it wrap around then we're gonna go back then we're gonna come forward we're gonna lock it right there and we're gonna continue to go and I have a big cocoon so uh, you know adding a few of those into your yarn is always fun and um, it you know it's a matter of play again I'm not technical spinner so I kind of you know just play go with the flow and then try to share with you what I do here's a this is really coiled see how it's got that real coil look to it now we'll just go to apply 
And if you feel when you, um, here's a little tip. If you feel that you did a little too much twist doing this, let's see, I'm going to go back and forth, back and forth. If you feel there's a little too much twist, see, like this, see it's coiling up, hold this taunt and let your twist travel up. So I'm letting that energy out. So you can't, you just don't be afraid of it. Just, just play. Different angles. That's what you want to do. You want to play angling your spun thread, keeping your ply thread taut. And when you really get going, you, you just Treadle along and uh, change up your change up your um, angles, and this way in the finished product is going to be a really textured yarn, which I will have a photograph of to go along with this video. See that? How much fun is that? Now you know you can do when you're spinning your yarn. A little tip: do your slub smaller so that you have smaller um, little uh, bobbles. So you could spin a thinner yarn, do a little mini, do a little mini bobble yarn, mini coiled yarn. Just spin a, th uh, a finer thread, which I love to do too. I love to do that with Pygora. I'll spin my Pygora fairly thin and then I'll ply it this way and um, add a whole bunch of mini, little mini um, slubs, little mini coils little mini bumps and lumps and then go back to plying regularly so that's basically all you have to do don't be afraid of it just remember spin a single with some sl you don't have to have slubs in it if you just want to spin a single and coil it you know as a single just to have that coily look instead of that plied look see coil ply Coil look, plied look. Do that. It's just a matter of, um, you know, taste what you're going for. So spin a single, either smooth or with big slubs or tiny slubs, and then play with your um, play with your ply. Go back and forth. Let it coil on. Push your slubs up. And when you set this yarn after you've spun it, had fun with it, it's going to set up really nicely. And like I said, if some of your bobbles are moving, don't worry about it. Because if you didn't lock them in well here, they're just going to maybe move a little and wind up a little somewhere else. So you see what I mean? When you're, when you're um, spinning, uh, skeining it on, if you see them moving, don't panic. Because they're just going to they can't they can only go so far because you've got all this yarn on here um, well I hope these tips will help you and our next one up will be um, Virginia with some locks and um, doing her thing with uh, a single and maybe apply and I don't know what she'll choose to do it'll depend on her mood that day all right guys I hope this uh, will help you have some fun with your plying and uh, we'll see you soon. Visit our website, www.shepherdstalk.com. Uh, we have lots of free videos. We have YouTube. We have our Facebook pages. You're going to find a lot on there. We have some uh, mini tutorials, um, kits in a bag, you know, uh, mini uh, sh uh, workshops in a bag. So we'll see you soon. Enjoy your ply.